The Ukrainian army's attacks in eastern Ukraine are unceasing. The forces sent by Kiev are pushing on with their operation to uh, crush the anti-government forces there. Uh, several villages just outside Donetsk are the latest targets to be smashed. Let's show you a church that came under shelling during evening mass. You can see how badly damaged it is. Uh, there's no roof and many of the walls have been turned into rubble. На вечерней службе, где находились люди, где шла святая молитва. Из-за этого взрыва погибло в храме три человека. Это горе унесло самых близких нам людей. Я прошу, чтобы вы опомнились, отдумались, куда вы посылаете своих сыновей, куда, что вы делаете, гляньте на эти разрухи. Now, weeks of fighting and shelling have left thousands of people in the east struggling to find any food. A Russian humanitarian aid is being distributed in Lugansk with anti-government forces helping to get supplies to the struggling citizens of Donetsk. Artis Paula Slier has more. These men have seen some of the worst fighting in this conflict. But there's one thing they find even worse. Kiev is trying to destroy the local population, their own people basically. Those who survived Kiev's onslaught are slowly starving. For four long weeks, residents of Yasinovata have been without food and water. The only way in or out is surrounded by heavy artillery. We're doing everything we can so that people there had enough food. We are not going to let a humanitarian crisis happen. It's now fallen on the anti-government fighters to make sure cities under siege get supplies. Our first stop is this bread factory. They've been baking this bread for the last 12 hours, four and a half thousand loaves. Everybody knows that this is for humanitarian purposes, for hungry people. Look at our bread, it's perfect. But it's not so pretty driving into Yasinovata, 20 kilometers outside of Donetsk, where some of the fiercest fighting is taking place. Half an hour ago, missiles hit the next street. A man was killed and a woman injured. Yesterday, they hit a central gas pipe. Every hour there is shooting or shelling. While you are here, you will hear it all. Word quickly spreads that helps arrived. Those who haven't fled the town risk the thunder of shelling to come quickly and take what they can. Three days ago, this bridge was still standing. Entire buildings have been blown up, neighborhoods completely destroyed. How did this school bother them? Are there terrorists there or what? Didn't they know it's a school? As you can see by the craters, they were specifically targeting the hospital. They tried to destroy the place where children and injured are being treated. They want to create panic, unbearable conditions so that people leave. But for now, with the emergency supplies still reaching the city, at least there is momentary relief for the people who refuse to be driven out. Paulus Lea RT. Yasinovata, Eastern Ukraine.